So we're at the rodeo drive-in, and so far it's just been such a great day. How are you doing, Atkins? What's up? It's been so good. Everyone's having a good time. What good. about you, Tyler? How's it going? Cracking, up Cracking a cold one. one. Yeah. A what about you, Dawson? Speaking ass, smoking grass, and skating fast. Me too. Are, is, this, is this going on YouTube? I don't know. Put it on YouTube, make your yeah, no, you got you. But yeah, we're about to go see Endgame. <laughs> what are they doing? What are they doing? Nice. What, what's going on? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what is going on over here? I got what? <laughs> so it has been a day since. I saw Avengers Endgame. You just listened to all of us having fun at the drive-in. It was a blast. If if you have a drive-in nearby, they're so rare now because theaters have just expanded so much. But, like, if you have a drive-in around town or something, I recommend going to it. It is extremely fun. We got there super early because it was getting packed, and then we just went and saw the movie, and there was, like, a playground. We played Cards Against Humanity. We got a whole bunch of food. It was it was just really fun, and we we were gonna see this awesome, like highly anticipated movie, and it was it was fun. Go to a drive-in, man. It's it's a blast. I mean, I'd recommend that if you don't want to hear little kids crying. By the way, stop taking your fucking tiny ass children to see these movies. They're not gonna understand shit. They, there were so many kids just crying like at the beginning of the film, like really loud over something that had nothing to do with the movie. And then there were jackasses that had their lights on a couple of times. Although, they it later on finally got quiet and I started to tolerate it a little bit. So I was still able to, to, uh, to enjoy the film. But no, it was a fun time. But what about the movie? Okay, keep in mind that these are first impression videos. Meaning that I've only seen the movie once. I haven't processed everything. I haven't just consumed the film by every single minute, like I do with every movie that I see. This is just a first impressions video. And my first impression from seeing this film is that I've just, I absolutely loved it. Everything that I wanted to see happen in an MCU film or with these characters and stuff happened in this movie. We've, in pl it, it's an extremely emotional impact too. Uh, at the beginning of the film, you see how these characters really struggle after the events of Infinity War, and it really is breathtaking. It's it's sad, and there's the beginning doesn't have a lot of action in it, and don't get me wrong, there's still going to be a lot of action in the movie. It's an MCU film. Oh my god. It, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm probably... I, I already spoiled it in the video, so I might as well just stop being subtle. The ending action scene is really satisfying because the beginning the beginning of the movie is mostly just seeing them struggle with uh, the events. You know, you get to see Thor, who was this super badass uh, mythical god, turn into this fat drunk that slurs a lot, and it's really funny. Rocket seemed like less of an asshat this time. Tony Stark, you get to see him like finally realize, is, is this really what I want to do? Maybe I should... Uh, rely and rely on my wife stop scaring her and shit and you know they he creates a family he has a daughter uh, because it shows the it shows what happens five years later black widow oh my god and uh, you know I, sh I should mention Hawkeye first <laughs> Hawkeye the beginning of the movie is already sad because you see his family fade away and like all my friends everyone in the theater was like oh no 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 I heard people in the audience freaking out and it was, oh man, but Black Widow has some really good lines in this movie. She really wants everyone to come back, and she doesn't really have, like, a family or anything, so she sacrifices her life, and Black Widow is, like, one of my favorite MCU characters, so it was super sad that this happened, like, my friends were crying. And with this movie, I really, really, really tried to avoid, like, leaks and theories and shit but like everyone at the fucking at my fucking school was just constantly talking about it they were talking about how like oh thanos is gonna team up with the avengers and how uh like everyone else who hates brie larson was all like D -d -d captain marvel is gonna save them all the movie's gonna suck and be predictable but none of those two things happen that does not happen captain marvel is hardly in this film she's not useless she's just not in this film a lot 
And again, I made a first impressions video of Captain Marvel, and I thought it was a good movie. I still think it's a good movie. But after watching it twice, I can definitely see some of the flaws with it. If, so if you think Captain Marvel's acting isn't that good, if you just don't like the character, you won't be disappointed with this movie. If you do like Captain Marvel and you don't think that she's useless, I don't think you'll be disappointed with this movie either. Just keep in mind she's not in most of this if I'm going to be honest, I would consider her more of a minor character in this movie. She really isn't in that much of it. Anytime Thanos got on screen, like, I had goosebumps. It was probably it was probably because I was hella cold. I mean, the drive-in, it gets really, really cold uh, there, just sitting down outside in the dark watching a movie. But it's so nostalgic, too. I love the drive-in. Uh, not only does Thor change, but uh, one of the most interesting ones is that Bruce Banner and uh, finally like overcomes Hulk to where he can balance uh, both his anger and himself, and it's really cool. You get to see Hulk with Bruce Banner's personality, and it's it's so interesting and it's so cool that that happened. There's some really stressful, really suspenseful scenes in this movie that had me sh literally shaking. Uh, it, it was amazing, though. It, it, this film gave me so many emotions, and again, we've grown up with these characters. I was. <sighs> I didn't I don't cry at movies, but I admit this one almost this almost made me uh really attach onto the film to a point where I was about to cry. There's also there's also time travel in this movie, and it's a little wonky. My friends have already noticed some plot holes. At first I thought, oh, it's kinda cool how they're aware that time travel is something really easy to fuck up when it comes to storytelling. And it's not too bad, but and they, they they reference it too. They reference other movies that had time travel, and just it literally made no sense. They do they do their own thing with it, but there definitely are some plot holes. But I mean, that's to be honest, you you got to understand with this kind of thing. There there's going to be plot holes either way. You can't be nitpicky about movies just because of small things like that, unless it's just extremely like doesn't make any sense, like um like Sonic 06. But regardless, it was still enjoyable to watch. Seeing them time travel to all of these different parts of the MCU, different films of the MCU, is nostalgic as fuck, since we were the kids that grew up with all of those movies. So, it was really cool. But the biggest part of this movie, of course, is how Thanos figures out that they've been time traveling. He figures out what happens in Infinity a past version of Thanos. Thanos dies in uh, the beginning of Endgame, the future one, but the past version of Thanos finds out what happens in the future, and uh, and it's because Nebula uh, time-traveled to the Guardians of the Galaxy film, the year that that movie took place in. You know, you you've probably seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And so Thanos comes to our time, taking advantage of the Infinity Stones that the Avengers helped get, Including Scarlet, including Black Widow's death, which still makes me sad. Which is it's so it's, and it's sad to see Hulk freaking out over that. Anyway, but they still get the Infinity Stones and they bring everyone from the MCU back, well, except for you know Vision and Black Widow because there's they can't come back now. But they bring everybody else back and there's this epic, awesome, giant, and also Gamora. Gamora's gone too. Yeah, but but we do get a past version of Gamora, which is going to be really interesting for future Guardians films. But anyway, everybody else, and it's just so fucking awesome, this action scene, seeing all of them fight. It's it's incredible that they created this universe in a move in a string of movies, and it's just... I can't believe what's going on on the screen. It's so cool, and it feels like... And, like, everyone's trying to get Thanos, and most people can't. And we, when you see Iron Man with the Infinity Stones, he says, I am Iron Man, and snaps his finger. It's just, oh my gosh. I'm nutting so hard about this fucking movie. You get to see Pepper fight again. You get to see Wanda all pissed off at Thanos because of what happened with Vision. Ant-Man, the Wasp, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, all of them come back. And it's so fucking amazing. Even Captain Marvel is struggling trying to defeat Thanos. But again, when Iron Man says his quote, I am Iron Man, and then everything that came, all of these enemies and Thanos fade away, they get turned into dust, and then they all die, and it's just so satisfying. But then it becomes really depressing because Iron Man dies. 
and you see Peter crying and like because and plus in the middle of the movie you see you see uh, Tony engaging with his father all happy that he exists you see Pepper crying and Pepper's telling Iron Man that it's okay and that he saved the day and all that stuff and you see the funeral oh my gosh this is really the, we've grown up with these movies again and it, it just so many of my favorite cartoons from the 2010s are also ending and they all got proper serious finales too and like it just it feels like the end of an era it feels like the end of an era with uh with with this cinematic universe like i'm gonna be honest i might not even okay i'm still obviously gonna see far from home i'm still obviously gonna see guardians volume three i'm still obviously going to see the the black widow movie um I'm going to see all of that. Black Panther 2, Doctor Strange 2, whatever it comes in the future. There's like some new ninja movie that Marvel's coming out with. I might see that too. But I don't know if it's going to be the same, to be honest. It's like Captain America. Captain America's gone too. He finally got to see his love, which, you know, is really interesting. That's something my mom wanted to see happen too. But man, and Thor teams up with Guardians. That made me so happy. That is so freaking awesome. So Thor is not gone. I wonder what they're going to do with Hulk and Wanda, though. And yeah, I wonder what's going to happen with Hawkeye. If they'll still be in future films. I feel like it'd be cool if Hulk and Wanda maybe teamed up with Guardians. But I highly doubt that's going to happen. But yeah, as you can see, as you hear from this video, I just fucking loved this movie.